That's right, everyone. We're on our way to space. Let's go get our cosmonaut on. Three, two, one, go. Space Boom! Hey, everybody, welcome back to another week of reviews. Thanks to my buddy Sergey, who happens to be out of Moscow. He offered to send not just myself, but also our dear friend Emmy, a box from space. Literally from space. What we have in here is the Space Food brand. What I'll have down below is a link, so if you're curious about your own taste test of some Space Food, we can see exactly what we've got. Oh, we have some lovely meat puree. Mmm, that's going to look like it is pretty good. Looks like it is like 115 grams of that. What do we have here? Cottage cheese with sea buckthorn puree. I don't know what that is, but it'll be fun. We have some borscht, which is like a, a beet uh, product. And uh, it's usually a stew or a soup. Some lovely pork with vegetables. Some razzlenick, whatever that happens to be. We'll Google that and find out. And then some cottage cheese with black currant. Let's find out what razzle, razzlenick is. Okay, this says it's a, a traditional Russian soup made from pickled cucumbers, pearl barley, pork, or beef kidneys. That should be tasty, too. Well, let's open one of these up and see what these tubes look like. Looks like you have like a wet nap or something in here. Oh, that's kind of neat. It actually protects the tube. You have a little sleeve. And here is your tube of space food. Looks pretty much like a tube of toothpaste. Or like you would get like in the Australian or New Zealand rations. It's got a nice piercing tool, which you would pierce this and... If you're in space and you don't have dishes and whatnot, you could just suck this right out of the tube. I am a super fan of this tubed kind of food. In fact, I think the only country left that really does it is like New Zealand and Australia. And it seems like they are getting less and less common. And this is indeed an alcohol wipe. And what it's designed for is not necessarily the tube but for cleaning your hands to make sure that you don't introduce any bacteria while you are eating your food. Before I get ready to squeeze these out, of course you see the space food on one side, and on the other, it lets you know exactly what the item is and what the nutrition facts are. That is kind of handy to have on one of these tubes. So after you open everything up, this is what it's gonna look like, but it's interesting. You have five that have the same kind of top in your Razzling has a completely different type of top and the pureed meat came with one of these looking like a cake decorating kind of things and then along with that you get a second wet well I don't think we're going to use a tray for this but I've got a bunch of these so let's start uh, getting this stuff into these vessels and I'm going to have to do it in a way where I don't forget which one is which hopefully we'll be successful and we'll start off with the meat puree. Open this little thingy up. Pretty soft plastic. Pierce the end of this. Make sure that it's fully open. Hmm. You can smell the pureed meat right off of the bat. I don't know how this is going to work out. I guess you would have to hold it. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? It literally looks like baby food. 115 grams of baby food. It does have a, a, a strong meat smell, which you would expect that with a meat puree. Let's try to get it all out of there. Because it's not like I'm going to be reusing these things. I can just see it in the comments, man, what 
some of your inventive, imaginative minds are coming up with looking at that. And this tube is actually designed to fit right on the end of the tube, so this will serve kind of like a straw, so you're not sticking your mouth directly on the end of one of these foil tubes. And next we have the Razzle Ink. This is that cucumber type soup. Man, very interesting. And as soon as you pierce these, you can hear the definite hiss because this stuff has been def oh look at that man it makes you wonder why people want to be astronauts I mean I'm sure the the experience is awesome <laughs> but this experience might not be so awesome man I guess they want to keep you uh not stopped up. So let's bust out this Porsche. I can honestly say, I, I mean, I've eaten beets. I've eaten plenty of beets, but I've never had uh, Borscht. Let's see if you can hear this little hiss. Well, I guess not. Hey, you might be able to hear that air escaping out of there. There we go. Now we've got some good flow going. Mmm. Mmm, then the pork with vegetables. Mmm, interesting sounds coming out of this. Oh, man. Yeah, just the consistency of baby food. If you've got a if you've got a young in a home, this stuff won't be quite a surprise. But the smells coming off this are actually quite appealing, which is uh, it's not surprising, but it's getting me kind of excited. And then we have the dairy fruit component, which was the sea buckthorn, which is essentially sea berries. So mystery solved. And then the black currant. And this is very thick. I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about this one. And there's still way more in the tube. It almost seems like when it hits the air, it expands. That's crazy. Let me get the other one in here. Oh, the things that we do for YouTube. And what better to go with some Russian food than some Russian tea? This is that great black tea that I am very partial to. Total fan. If I can get out of the packet. And along with that, we've got some of this officer's chocolate to help cleanse out our palate. All right, let's do this. We'll start off right here, right at the top. This is our borscht. Take a nice little look at that. It's definitely nice and creamy. Definitely pureed. And it is significantly thicker than you would normally get. But that is because they don't want it too liquidy in space, I'm assuming. Well, let's give that a try. Wow, I was not expecting that. That is really smooth. It's very creamy. And I was just expecting borscht, just regular beet, but what's inside of this, you have some broth, butter, uh, it says beef, fresh cabbage, beet roof, which is of course the beet, a little bit of potatoes, some pureed carrots, and tomato, onion, 
really tasty very tasty so it has a little bit of sugar and also some black pepper in there for taste I wish I could share this with you I was definitely not expecting the flavors that came off of that they were so smooth silky oh really good let's try our meat puree clean this spoon off happily mmm really tasty give it a little string close-up at the meat puree I know it looks like something out of this world because it's designed for that hmm now this one is definitely more granular because it's got all those little bits of meat in it that this one did have but they were a lot finer not as silky or creamy but what's inside of this it says it's got pork beef melted butter a little bit of broth tomato paste some sour cream there's a winner right there for me a little bit of salt pepper and some citric acid added in probably for some like vitamin c content now the razzle nick because this has all these little little bits of looks like vegetable in there as well let's try to get that to focus on there for you man let's do this this one also has sour cream in it. You can taste it immediately as soon as it goes right into your mouth. And this one has, again, broth. It has beef, pickled cucumber, potato, sour cream, a little bit of butter, some rice, onions, carrots, parsley root, and again with some salt and pepper. The neat thing about this Razzlenick is at the end, you start getting that aftertaste of that cucumber. Oh, this stuff is actually pretty darn tasty. No complaints. Uh, let me make this all neat again. I'm going to take a slug of our black tea. Oh, and it's still nice and hot. All right, what do we have here? This is the pork with vegetables. Looks like it might have some peppers in this one. Oh, you can even see a little bit right there. Oh, this is going to be good, too down the hatch and this one is very tomatoey it has uh, of course pork it has a little bit of broth potatoes onion sweet peppers tomato paste some oil wheat flour salt and pepper and again a little touch of garlic in there not too bad I prefer this one and this one so far the best We're coming up to like I guess would be the dessert or the vegetable dairy portion this one is the cottage cheese with black currant. Almost kind of like a, a yogurt kind of thing. It looks okay. It looks a lot more appealing than the other one. I can honestly say that. Well, let's give this one a go. And it tastes pretty much any store-bought black currant or blackberry yogurt that you would get, except for it's more dense that you would get at the store. And this is the sea berry. Yeah, this one's kind of, I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to say that I'm concerned, but it almost looks like it's kind of curdled. But what the heck? You only live once. So sea buckthorn might not necessarily be my, my favorite kind of berry. I don't know. It just kind of has a, Maybe it's just an acquired taste. Maybe if I had it again, it would be all right. But definitely, uh, the black currant is much more suited to my palate. And we'll cleanse that palate again with our black tea. Uh, still nice and roasting hot. So what's my take on Russian space food? It's actually not too bad. If you were inclined to purchase a set of those for yourself, Get in touch with Sergey. There will be a link down there on the bottom. As a novelty, this is actually kind of really fun. And it would be really fun to do with your kids. Now, also, I have reached out to uh, NASA's Human Health and Performance Directorate, which I still haven't heard back from you, NASA, to try some United States space food. And also, I reached out to the United States Air Force, to the 9th Reconnaissance Wing at Beale Air Force Base. Those are the guys that fly those U-2s, and they, they formerly used to fly the SR-71s. They are tube food eaters as well. 
So hopefully we'll get the opportunity to try with the United States astronauts and high-flying reconnaissance pilots get to eat on their missions. Well, everybody, this was a fun review to do. Again, thank you to Sergey with Space Food. Again, the link will be down there at the bottom, and I will see you all on my next review. Bye.